Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome to my guide on the brand new Slayer Boss Araxor. Now this is a day one guide, so the methods are bound to change sort of a couple of days from now, a week from now, a month from now. Especially when new changes are made and uh, the wiki kind of settles on what Araxor is actually weak to because in the time I've been doing it, um, its melee defense has switched on the slash and the crush between plus 15 and plus 75, rotating between the two, so... Yeah, your guess is as good as mine on that one. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be using Crush. Um, I've been trying Slash as well, but I find Crush hits a bit harder. Um, the Zombie Axe has been really good for that. I've also tried the Saddle Blade here. Um, I don't have anything better than that. Bludgeon seems to be the best in the slot. Uh, and I'm using my Elder Maul as my first spec when I first go in. I'm dumping both specs because I'm doing like 1kc a trip. Uh, but that's mainly just to refresh all my stats, re, -venom, uh, re get rid of my Venom and everything because I don't have Anti-Venoms plus, uh, anti plus, which would be your best in slot Anti-Venoms. Uh, I've just got normal Anti-Venoms. Araxor does Venom, so Antidotes, you're going to burn through them. Uh, I'm using a couple of Restores in there. You don't really need more than three, I'd say, for a full fight. I mean, they're not that long of a fight. Food, I've got um, sharks and grand ones for tick eating, and I'm bringing a stamp pot as well, just for running over and restoring my uh, run energy. Now, there's two ways that I've been finding a good to get here, especially if you die and you need to get the other one to get back, is using the Ectophile, running through Port Phasmatis and running round. Uh, it's located just northeast of Darkmire, the um, dungeon, uh, or you could run up from the Draken's Medallion and run up north. Uh, or if you've got the sleep one, but I think that takes you right over by Nightmare, so maybe not the best one there. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of the two best options. You've also got like the Fairy Ring, but that's a bit of a trek. And you've got all the uh, ghouls, feral ghouls or whatever they are, the zombie things that attack you. Um, but anyway, equipment-wise, Slayer Helm. I am thinking Serp Helm, but I feel like you're going to you're gonna feel that 15% less DPS. Uh, and then just my best in slop strength stuff, so I've got... Blood Moon Chestplate, Banos Tassets, Barrows Gloves, Primordial Boots, Berserker Ring, which I'm debating changing to a um, Suffering, just for that passive damage on the minions that spawn. Uh, and then Rada's Blessing, Dragon Defender, Fury, Zombie Axe, which I've already been through. Now, Araxor does spawn three different types of uh, spawns. You've got the red one, which... You want to lure underneath of a Raxor because it explodes and it does loads of damage. So you want to avoid that, obviously. Um, but you can use it to your advantage to kill the other minions and also do some damage on a Raxor. So lure it underneath of a runaway. Boom. See you later. The next one is a white one, which is like, um, I believe it's melee. That's what I've been finding. Um, but 25% of the damage dealt by a Raxor is a mirrored to the uh, mirror back Araxite, which is the white one. 50% um, of the damage dealt is dealt to the player. Uh, so there is a bit of uh, passive damage there that you won't be able to get around. And then you've got the green one, which is just a range one. Now, just a quick requirement that you need for a Raxor. First of all, you need to be on a Slayer task. Um, and second of all, you need 92 Slayer to actually be able to do a Raxor. So bear that in mind. If you are thinking of doing a Raxor, you need those two things. Anyway, on with the rest of the video. Now, you can see here that I've got my spec um, Elder Maul. It does work well. I've also tried the BGS, which I find works very well. Uh, and my uh, main man here, Toon, he's been trying out the Void Waker, which seems to hit quite well as well. So it will be interesting to see what the best spec weapon is. Um, but that's what I'm kind of testing at the moment. Elder Maul, obviously, for the reducing on the uh, uh, defense is good. Uh, defense down, good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah... Um, that's what I've been using. Now, another thing, another annoying mechanic, well, not necessarily annoying, it's kind of a you know pain in the backside, but hey-ho. Uh, when Araxel gets to 25% health, it will yell Shriek, which then it starts stamping, and it does like a 1 by 3 acid line that you need to avoid. Uh, that one gets a little bit fun later on in the fight, but we'll see that when we get into the kill clip. Um, for the most part, we'll be praying melee, Araxor mainly does, well, if you're close to it, it will attack you with melee. If you move away, it will use a mage attack. Um, so yeah, just bear in mind, if you do stray away from the spider, it will start attacking you with magic, so keep that in mind. Uh, it will do a green sludge attack as well that will hit you and then start spawning acid pools underneath you, similar to like chambers. You just walk away lily padding. Uh, I think it leaves six or seven lily pads, depending. Um, so just an idea. If you've got your control walk on, 
that's really, really handy that you can just hold control, walk along and uh, avoid the damage. But anyway, that's enough of me yapping. Let's get into the kill. And then once we've done one, I'll do a little round off of you know, what we saw, what all the attacks were and um, yeah, how to get a kill in a Raxor. So when we go in, we're going to want to, first of all, hit our health orb because these little baby ones attack you instantly. You can play melee as well. We're going to play piety and we're going to run just into the web tunnel. I'm going to pot up as we run in, switch to our uh, Elder Maul, turn on our spec, and dunk it down on a Raxor's bonce. Uh, going to hit it twice. And if you, I mean, you could bring a light bearer so you've got some more specs on you, but that's up to you if you've got a light bearer. I don't. <laughs> but anyway, we can see like the, uh, the zombie axe does work here. Um, and this is the one that you want to lure underneath. So we're going to Get under a Raxor and wait for it to go off. Boom, there we go. Didn't quite get it underneath. Normally it does like 80 damage. So we're holding control, walking around. That's the lily pad and that is the mage attack that comes out as well. See, we strayed a little bit far, far away from it, from outside of its melee range. So it used a mage attack. So this is the uh, ranger. So I'm going to try and get around underneath of a Raxor. So let's go here and oh, we're getting lily pads anyway <laughs> that worked out well didn't it um all right let's get on this tile here oh if we go any further it'll take us out of melee <laughs> anyway so this is the uh mirror one which uh will mirror the damage that araxor does let's get it close and start killing it because it will do damage to us you can normally one hit if you've got crush okay let's walk away and yeah, that was a mage attack. Cool. Right, an orange spider would be lovely right now. And look at that. I ask and I shall receive. So let's get away. Oh, well. <laughs> See what I mean? It gets a bit finicky. And when the green one explodes, it explodes into like poison, by the way. So just bear in mind that as well. There we go. And back on Araxor. One thing I haven't done yet is tag up all of the spawns. So let's tag all of them so you can see where they are. Right, I'm going to quickly run over. I'm going to switch to Predict Mage. And it gets a bit closer, so we can go back to Mage. Oh, it's now 25%, so it's going to do the Shriek attack, which can be quite punishing. There we go, let's get around. Get around, get around. There we go. Shit. I mean, if you're playing melee, the mirror back's not going to do any damage to you, which is quite nice. Move. Oh, nuke. Nuke! Yeah, there we go. There is a Raktor dead. Now, I will do another kill because that was a little bit chaotic <laughs> like i say it's a day one guide i'm still learning it myself but i want to share the knowledge that i've picked up so far and then after you want to harvest from a Raxor, like so two room plate legs all of that for some room plate legs eh all right we've refueled we've recharged uh, this time bring in just three anti-venoms three br uh, restores and then the rest food um yeah let's get back in there and we'll go through another kill and uh yeah <laughs> Like I said, it's day one, learning as we go. But I think these type of videos are important because it gives people that little bit of a leg up from starting, you know, sharing the... Uh, it's all about sharing the knowledge, you know? And in the comments, if you've spotted anything or you're finding anything works well, I want to hear it down below um, because that's the whole point of these type of videos is sharing. Sharing is caring, my friends. All right, in we go again. Pray melee, pray piety, switch to the Elder Maul. Get ready to bonk. There's a Raxor. On its silly head. Go on, on your head, mate. Edit. Oi! Switch back. And let's get attacking. Right. When these new ones spawn, there we go. There's the Ranger. So let's try and lure it over to somewhere that we can actually kill it. Right. Ooh. Okay, that's new. 
So, yeah, just dodge that, I guess. <laughs> so that fires right to the end of the room. You know what, I'm going to go and take out this ranger. Let's go and take it out. Right, there's the mirror. Let's get back on. Okay, that explodes. Dodge that. Damn, okay. The hell, it's never done that attack before. Never seen that before. But hey, we're, it's good that we got it on camera, right? <laughs> Is there... Tag all... Okay, that's dead. Nice. All right, here we go. Tactical nuke inbound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go on, go off. Go off. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's quickly take a sip. It's really nice with the health orb thing as well, that if you click your health orb when you're poisoned or venomed or whatever, uh, it will heal you. Some people don't know that. So, yeah, there's a little nugget of information for you. Um, see, it's, it's never done that before. And this is like my 10th attempt at doing a Raxor. You know, let's walk underneath. I want to get to this ranger. Switch back to rain. There we go. We've got the mirror coming in. Right. Yeah, let's take that out. Okay. Boom. See you later. Uh, let's do our venom. All right, we've got a tactical nuke inbound. Get underneath of it. Yeah, see you later. Boom. <laughs> okay, it's doing its shrieks. Let's get three tiles away. Step away. Let's run underneath. Hit it again. Hit it again. And boom. And there we go. Araxor down. Interesting with that mechanic. Not seen it before. So I guess it fires a massive poisonous blast uh, and leaves a trail of lily pads behind it and then explodes so yeah don't be on the end of that <laughs> anyway what do we get two rune kite shields I mean it's alkables isn't it and then after three trips telly and home go into my pool and then uh, I normally go to the farming guild because it's quite a close bank to a teleport I guess uh, but anyway that is going to do it for my day one guide um, I know it's been a little bit of a chaotic one but I think there's some key bits in there that uh, people will find helpful. I will be doing uh, kind of a more fleshed out normal RuneScape for Dummies video on Araxor once uh, some of the metas have come out and, you know, we tweak our uh, setups and get a little bit more efficient with it. But I wanted to get a video up so you guys have uh, a little bit of guidance when uh, trying out Araxor. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all in a new video very, very soon. Bye.